Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a what's in my bag. I've actually received so many requests to do a what's in my bag and I figured if I was going to do this video, I needed to really show you guys a what's in my bag for one of my newest bags. This is the Petite Mall bag. It is such a stunning, classic, beautifully like crafted bag. But probably the biggest question is what fits inside because it is so small as you can see. It is a small bag for sure. You can definitely wear it during the daytime, which I've totally done, but size-wise you would compare it to something that you would wear in the evening, to a wedding, to a night event, to date night, things like that. It doesn't fit a whole lot, but it does surprisingly fit everything that I need. And I also feel like with this size bag, with the way that it's structured, I really just don't carry a whole lot, but let's go ahead and get started. So first I wanna show you an overview of the bag itself. I did go ahead and add the strap to it, which is how I will wear it. You can obviously wear it as a clutch if you want without the strap, but for me, for the price of the bag, I would just be really scared to drop it or something to happen to it. So I really prefer carrying it with the strap and I either wear it on the shoulder or crossbody. It is adjustable, which is really, really nice. I think it has like five holes, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, it has five holes. I'm five foot two and I wear it in the middle hole so you can be a little bit shorter than me or a little bit taller and it is gonna work for you. But I just wanted to give a quick little overview of the bag. You can see all of the detail. It is such a stunning bag and if you have been curious about this bag in general, quality wise, it is there. Yes, it is a pricey bag, but it's one of those bags that I just feel like personally that I will be able to have for many, many, many years, if not the rest of my life, and be able to pass it down to somebody. Um, I just think it's such a stunning bag and I could definitely see having this for the rest of my life. That is the plan, that I keep this bag for the rest of my life and then pass it down to somebody because I just think it's such a stunning, classic Louis Vuitton piece. You guys know I am a Louis Vuitton girl at heart. It's just, Louis Vuitton is like my jam and that's kind of what, I, I mean, I started obviously before Louis Vuitton with lower end brands, but Louis Vuitton has always had my heart even before I could even really afford it or I just had like one or two pieces and um, Louis Vuitton is kind of where I started Lux Mommy and this channel and sharing my love for luxury. I have since branched out to other brands and really wanted to add a diverse collection, which I do feel like I do have now, but Louis Vuitton is still like it's it's my first love it really is my first love when you're talking about luxury um, but let's go ahead and open up this baby so the lock mechanism is very similar to the pochette matisse in this you push the two together and then it pops open and then you can see the bag is very very structured everything is going to move once i show it to you but there's not a whole lot in there so we won't have to spend a whole lot of time in this but you can see everything that is in there so the first thing you do have to really make sure that everything has a spot just because you're not dealing with a whole lot of space. Um, let me show you. You can see how everything is in there, but it is all of my necessities. So the first thing that I have in there is my six ring key holder. This is obviously a must, especially if I'm driving. So I have a really large fob as well. So I've got my key fob for my car. I've got my mailbox key, my house key, um, some other stuff. So mine is very, very thick and it still fits in there. You can see how thick my key fob is and it fits in there just fine. The next thing that I'm here, Petunia. The next thing that I have in there is my iPhone X, my iPhone 10. Um, now I do not have a pop socket on here, as you can see. Um, and then the last, I have three more things in here is a lip gloss. This is just like a must for me. I'm not going to leave the house without a lip gloss. I have a really tiny little mini um, hand hand cream, which is super tiny. And then the last thing that I have in here is you can see right here in the card spot. I just put two cards in there to represent one credit card and one ID like your driver's license that you would need when you left out of the house. These are just two like arcade games but they're the same thickness and size as credit cards. So here's one and here is two. So these two fit perfectly in that little slip pocket there. Um, you can definitely fold up some bills if you want to and put them in there instead or you can just kind of like fold them and put them in the corner up here if you want to. Uh, I'm going to put everything back and show you basically how I puzzle it in. It is a very small bag as you can see but I did want to show you that all of your essentials do fit. So here it is empty. Part of the problem is do you see how those sides go in like that? So it does make the opening or the actual usable space really tiny because of that but I do want to show you really quickly so I'm going to put the two cards again to represent an ID and one credit card 
in that side slit compartment. Those go in there. I'm trying to be gentle because it is a newer bag and I know eventually that will stretch out. You can see that is now in there. Um, the next thing I will go ahead and put is my phone and I like to put the glass case, the glass like uh, screen up against the wall. So you put the case shell towards the center of the bag basically so that the screen doesn't get cracked or anything. Next I'm going to add my six ring key holder. Now keep in mind um, this is something that I just recommend if you have this bag or you plan on buying this bag because of of this button here I do not want to put the button on the interior side of the lining if that makes sense so I'm going to bring that to the inside so that the what is touching the lining is just flat so that you do not get any sort of indention or whatever like from the button so I'm going to put that in and I'm just going to move that over to the side so that is basically like that next I am just going to puzzle in the lotion next to the uh, keyhole or next to the six ring key holder and I just put it in right there and the very last thing is and if this is more gonna sit at the top of the bag and I am just gonna put this at the very top basically on top of the phone there we go everything is inside here yes it is a small bag no it doesn't fit a lot but if it's everything that you would need if you were running out the door just doing a few things or you're going out for the evening you've got your phone you've got your keys you've got money you've got your credit card your id you've got your lip gloss and you've got a little hand cream and you are good to go I know that is definitely the biggest question when it comes to this handbag. Um, the next question that I get asked all the time is if I think it is worth the price. And that is such a tough question to answer because at the end of the day, a lot of the price that you are paying is for the brand, is for the luxury, uh, the title, is for the history of the brand, is for that, uh, you know, is for that. You're paying a lot of that. Yes, the quality is there. Yes, it's beautifully handcrafted. Yes, it's handmade and all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, a huge chunk of the value comes with the appreciation of the brand, appreciation of the history, appreciation of the, uh, you know, craftsmanship of the piece. And so for that, because I am such a Louis Vuitton lover. I really, really love the brand. I love the history that it that it stands for. I love the history that comes with especially this particular bag. I definitely feel like it is worth it if you are like me and love that whole like just history behind the brand and just love Louis Vuitton in general. I definitely think it's worth it. And it's one of those handbags that like I said, I do plan on keeping for the rest of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If there is another bag that you want to see a what's on my bag, let me know down below in the comments below. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. This kind of took me back a little bit. It's a little bit old school Lux Mommy. I haven't done a what's in my bag in so, so long, but I do feel like for this particular bag, it is very much needed because it is such a small bag and people want to know what fits inside so let me know down below if you want me to do another one on one of my other handbags and again my name is Amanda thank you so much for hanging out with me make sure to hit that subscribe button that notification button and I will see you guys in my next video talk to you soon bye bye I just want to hold you I just want to look into your